Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about power line carrier channel. This type of system is basically used for transmission of high frequency signals. So let us study the power line carrier channel in detail. Now the high frequency signals which are transmitted through the transmission line conductors are sent for the following purpose. First is communication. So for communicating between sending end and the receiving end, this type of signals are used. Then for the protection, protection from the abnormal conditions. Signaling, that is to send the signal from one end to the another end. Then monitoring, monitoring is checking of the various parameters. So the carrier current equipment are installed at the sending end and receiving end of the transmission line sections. So the signals can be sent from the sending end to the receiving end. These signals are basically of the high frequency. By sending this signal, we can perform the functions of communication, then protection, then signaling and monitoring. So the power line carrier equipment can be used for the following functions. First is to send the tripping signal to the other end of transmission line to open the circuit breaker at that end. So the power line carrier equipment is used for the following purposes. First is to send the tripping signal from one end to the another end. So as to open the circuit breaker at the another end of transmission line. This is called as intertripping. So if the fault has occurred, then the circuit breaker contact should open. Now usually the signal to open the contacts of the circuit breaker is sent by the relay. But for the fast operation, the power line carrier channel can be used. So it will send the signal from sending end to the receiving end of the transmission line so that the contacts of the circuit breaker might open. This function is called as intertripping. Next is to send the signal to remote end so that relays at the other end of transmission line are accelerated. This is called as carrier acceleration. So when the fast tripping operation is to be performed, the relay operation should be accelerated. So power line carrier channel can be used to send the signal from the sending end to the receiving end to the relays so that relay operation can be accelerated. This type of operation is called as carrier acceleration. Next is to send blocking signal to the other end of the transmission line to prevent tripping of circuit breaker at that end. This is called as carrier blocking. Now there are two types of condition, normal condition and abnormal condition. So the protective equipment should operate only in case of the normal condition. Hence. Power line carrier channel can be used to send the blocking signal to the circuit breaker so it might not operate under the normal condition. Also, there are two types of protection, primary protection and backup protection. So if the circuit breaker is used as the backup protection, then it must not operate for the primary protection. Again, the blocking signal can be sent by using the power line carrier channel. This type of operation is called as carrier blocking. Next is carrier current protection of transmission line based on the differential principle. Based on the differential protection of equipment such as differential protection of generator, differential protection of transformer, the carrier line signals can be sent to the transmission lines. Now the carrier current signaling is used along with the digital computer for following purpose. First is network monitoring. So in case of network monitoring, all the parameters of the power system network are monitored whether there is some abnormal condition or whether there is a fault condition or whether the values of voltage and current are varying. So all this comes under the network monitoring. Next is central load control. So in the centralized system, the load can be controlled by using the power line carrier channel. Next is central backup protection. As I have already mentioned, there are two types of protection primary protection and backup protection. 
So by using the central backup protection, the total backup protection of the power system can be monitored so that the equipments which are used for the backup protection do not operate for the primary protection. So in this way, we have studied power line carrier channel, which is basically used to send the high frequency signals from the sending end to the receiving end so that the complete monitoring of the power system can be done. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.